and William Byron is involved. And now, caution waves. Ninth caution of the day. Well, it definitely went from bad to worse right there for Tyler Reddick, but including William Byron, he was making his way back up to the front. Huge blow for them. I think that tire is blowing out. You alluded to it earlier with Chris Buescher, maybe possibly running those things too low on air and eventually got the best of it. Yeah, I didn't mean to jump in and to crank it up there, but I saw on the edge of the camera rubber fly off the back of his car and immediately slowed up. I think he blew a left rear tire right down there in turn one. Yep, there it is. Now, cars getting through on the inside. William Byron is not one of them. That, that was really odd. That yeah. was really late. It'd be interesting to see the whole view if there were some other cars around him. But or that he was, got uh, loose and had to catch yeah, it. Yeah, because that was quite a while after he was he was oh. going slow up against the top. Reddick has made it his way to his pit with caution out. I believe Byron was starting to get out of his car. Man, that's kind of a bummer for Tyler as well because I think he was going to be okay. He just yeah. needed left to retire on it. Was trying to get it limp back there, and uh, we got some contact somehow. Well, we're going to ride with Daniel Suarez in tenth place. Two, also two. I can see which lane here. Looks like they're sliding down. Looks like they're sliding down. The way he hit him, it was as if he didn't see him. So that tells me he got loose under him or something. Had to catch it and had to, you know, move up the racetrack and got into him. But it was a Pim road is open, Jamie. And the Penske teammates are pitted side by side. Ryan Blaney in the 12, Joey Logano in the 22. Joey saying just a little too free on entry. Still looking for that long run. He feels like that's his strength. The 12 of Ryan Blaney needs to be a little bit freer. Air pressure adjustment in four. Regan. Alex Moment in the 48 car has been steady all day long, just consistent with that race car right now. It's bouncing too much, which is causing him to get loose and then messing up his exit. He can't get off the corner like he wants. The 43 of Eric Jones, the words were simple. I'm happy with it. Leave it alone. Well, what was looking to be a great day for Chevrolet, suddenly two of their strongest are sidelined. Tyler Reddick has left pit road back in the race. William Byron. We'll get towed back. There's your race off pit road. Alex Bowman picking up two spots. He will now carry the flag for Chevrolet uh, uh, along with Eric Jones. That's how close it was.